Today we're going to change the control board or the motherboard, they're both the same thing, on a 1500LI. And I'm going to shoot a little video and show you how to do that. The, uh, the motherboard is mounted underneath the battery tray. It's in this box right here and is really just the top portion of it right here. Here's what you'll be receiving from us. And it has seven connections on it that we're going to disconnect and reconnect the same way. So it's held on by two screws, actually four, to go through the uh, tray. You're going to need a screwdriver and a Phillips head. Uh, you may not need the screwdriver, but definitely a Phillips head. I'm going to cheat and use a drill gun to make it go faster. I'm releasing the box from the bottom of the tray. And you see you got two longer screws that hold it on. So the, the box is now loose on the bottom. You need to take the tray off in order to get access to the cover. So I'll take these four screws off that hold it to the frame. And the tray will just fall over on the side here. You can set it like that. Here's the uh, control box. Now I'm going to take out the other two screws here and here that hold it to the box. They're shorter screws. You got to remember where to put them. So we're going to put them back in here before we put the tray back on. You can also hold the tray up. So, so here's the control card from the inside. There's seven connections, two motor drivers for the left side and two for the right side. And you can kind of follow the wires and see where they go. Uh, you got a control cable, which is this white data plug. I'll just disconnect that. It's keyed. It only goes in one way. Your power lines come in from your tray, and you've got a positive and a negative. On this model, the red, red wire goes in between the caps. I'll just pull that off. And the blue wire goes over by the uh, connector. And on these, you've got a blue wire on the right motor. That plugs in on the same side as these two big caps. And then you've got a black wire that plugs in on the bottom. So I'll pull them all off. I'll point out that if you can't get them off, if they don't come off easy, you can use a screwdriver to just pry them up a little bit, gently, and then they should come off. Okay, so that's the old control card. I'm going to set it like that so that I can remember the orientation, because the wires will be in the same position. Then here's the new card, and uh, you can start anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to plug in the left motor here first. And then I'm going to plug in the data cable. Get that out of the way. The, the only wires that you want to make sure you get right, uh, that you need to get right uh, without damaging the card, is the power wires. So uh, on the power wires, we have a we have a display that shows you how to how to put them in. The red wire goes in between the caps. Okay, so we'll put the red wire on in between the caps. And then the blue wire will go next to this data cable down here. And then uh, the on some of the older models, this 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 red wire is actually a, a brown wire, and that's why I'm making this video. All the newer ones are like this. You got a blue wire here that goes on the top, and a black wire that goes down here. Once you get them on, make sure they're all secure and that they feel, felt snug, these did feel okay. Uh, if, the, uh, if the gasket comes out of the, uh, the edge, you can just stretch it out and put it back in. So now I'm gonna put, the, put this back in. I'll look for the orientation here. The, the two screws go on those corners. That's the long ones are gonna go in there. So I'm gonna put the short ones in these two corners. And for expediency, I'm using this drill. Set the cover back over like this. And you probably want to line up the, the screws for the motherboard first. Let's get those mounted. And then we'll put the four screws back in. You don't need to over tighten those, they're not that strong. So I'll put the, uh, the four screws back in the tray and we'll be ready to roll.
and that's it. And then you should be ready to go.